That radio chick Cheryl Lee here. Welcome to the Still Rocking It podcast where we'll have music, news reviews and interviews with some of our favourite Australian musicians and artists. The other night I was lucky enough to catch up with Brett, Anthony and Jack from 63 Deluxe as Vince Contarino and I interviewed them for the telly as they embark on a trip overseas in the new year. We'll tell you all about it as you can be a fly on the wall during the filming of that interview, including the usual behind-the-scenes stuff, arguments, stuff-ups and bloopers. Hope you enjoy this little sneak behind the curtain and get behind our boys as they head to Memphis. To catch up on podcasts from other favourite artists, simply go to that radiochick.com.au. We're rolling on this one here. I'm rolling on this one now. So you want me into this one? Well, for the intro into that one? Give me the intro into this one. I'm ready to go. So I'll give you a clap, the usual clap. One, two, three. You're with Cheryl Lee and Vince Contarino. Welcome to Rider TV. This week, we are very blessed. In fact, we've had a fight over who's going to interview this band. I've just so we're both here. We've just got over the concussion protocols. We're both here in the rehearsal room to interview 63 Deluxe. Hey, hey. Let us introduce you to Brett Ham, Anthony Scott and Jack Thompson. It's been a while since we saw you. Indeed. Yeah. 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 Good to see you again. And I'm looking forward to catching up on all the stuff that in between. Oh, in between the times here so you can fill us in. So the last time you just released an album and it had sunshine on it and... Come on. Did the hurricane song on it? Hurricanes. Yeah. Yeah. My favourite hurricane. My favourite hurricane. Jeez, it's been a while. Just over a year. (laughs) Two years? No, just over a year. Great album. Fantastic sounds. And we've come to the studio where you're... Yes. Where you recorded that. very spot where Jack recorded the marathon effort of a lot of songs. But yeah, we released a whole bunch of singles out of that. Uh, And yeah, my favourite hurricane was possibly in the first... Yeah, my favourite hurricane was the first, uh, the first single off well, with all the tracks that we've been releasing, and um, yeah, no, it's, it's really cool. But you've got to be happy with the sounds you got out of this room. Yeah, they sound natural. It's mm. fresh garden. It's, and that's how I I like in your music. Yeah, because it's instantaneously good, and that's because it's fresh. Mm-hmm. Your guitar, sound, my yeah, bass and drum, please, bass if you want. <laughs> yeah, you has to have them. But your guitar, yeah, I mean, we're there. The sound of that guitar is so crisp and twangy and beautiful, and it's clean. Appreciate it, and it's nice, and it's still fat. And <laughs> oh, I love it. I've got to steal some. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm going to find out. Trade secrets. But yeah, <laughs> we're here at the Twin Earth Studios. John runs this. It's such a great space. Uh, this is a rehearsal space as well. Yeah, it's got a few rooms, and you might hear some. Yeah, you know, uh, murmurs. Uh, we like that. There's a thrash, but is it a heavy metal? Yeah, that's a heavy metal thrash. <laughs> yeah, we love it. It's well, this is a music show. Absolutely, we love that sound. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. I'd like to go right back to the very beginning because what I love about Sixty Three Deluxe is you didn't start off wanting to be a band and set the world on fire. You started off really organically as three mates just playing together. It sort of evolved over time, hasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean. I've known Anthony since we were in our teens. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Someone's got to do it, and I'm here to do it. We met Jack through uh, a mutual friend of ours, Garrett Bagby, who's an American who was living here. He actually went back to the US and was playing with JJ Reichert from Arrested Development for a while. Oh, uh, yes. And Garrett was a fantastic guitar player. But what we decided to do when he had to go home was we set up a project to record, write and record a few songs just for fun. For the fun of it? Yep. Could we hold for a second? Mm. When you shifted your chair, you bumped the mic, mate. Oh, uh, sorry about that, man. Is it? Is that it there? That's the question, or the that's the question? Just where you left off. That dummy just did it. I was looking at clap, and away you go again. All right. You give me the clap again. I'll bring you the clap again, and that clap. Sure, come They've got pills for that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> should be used to it by now. But uh, this is still recording. I like that. I deserve it. <laughs> we got a one, two, three. Well. Three mates getting together with no plan, just for the love of music. To me, it smells like success. I mean, you, you know, you plan things to work and that never happens. But when you deal for the love of it, and art is art and music. And when you listen to your songs, they're just easy to listen to. But and I don't mean that in a patronising way. They're easy to listen to, but there's a lot of depth to them as well. Oh, look, I'm a fan, so I'm going to stop sounding like a fan. I'm going to start sounding like an interviewer. 
You are listening to Still Rocking It, the podcast with Cheryl Lee. If we can stop Vince fanboying for just a moment, I'd like to play Sunshine. It's a beautiful song, as Vince said, and then we'll be back to be a fly on the wall at the interview with 63 Deluxe very shortly. <laughs> When you recorded the album and now bringing it out, playing it live, how's that feeling? Feeling pretty good. We're uh, really working on our show. Yeah. And just putting the energy into the live performance. Yep, so, yep. You know, we're just we're just enjoying that. And yeah, as you know yourself, you know, it's a totally different feel and the vibe when you are live and everything's just revved up and just, it, it, yeah, it just really works. You do something in the studio and it's good and you don't have to say it. I'll say it for you. You know it's good. So when you're playing live, you want it to sound good and your reference is the studio album, but that ain't going to work live. Live is another aspect and good live is another thing. But, mm. hey, this is a good thing, man. 
It's interesting. Challenges you again with your own stuff. Well, as you know, with albums, you, you put production values in there. We, we have uh, keyboards. Yep, yep, yep. Right through the album. Yep. Various percussion elements and uh, maybe some, you know, three-part harmonies. And we, there's two of us who do and some strings. Uh, and strings, yeah. We'll yeah. get strings in there. But you know what? I, I always think these songs, if they're good songs, it's an old saying, but if they translate in a simple format, if you're just playing them acoustically or just as a video, then they're good to go. A good song is a good song. That's it. And you know what else is really important these days and part of the whole picture is the film clip. Now, we loved the film clip from My Favourite Hurricane. It's a good one. Where did you get that young lady? What uh, what a spunky chick she is. <laughs> She's gorgeous, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. And who does the filming? Well, that's, uh, yeah, well, that was done by myself. Thank you. Yeah, look, my, my son is currently at Flinders uh, Uni for uh, filmmaking. So he uh, that's his kind of first it's not what you know. Oh, well done. Right. Yeah, yeah. Keep it in the family. That's right. <laughs> Charge you like a wounded. <laughs> yeah, look, he's uh, he's been gracious enough to film us. I've been the one in the background, the software, putting it all together. Yeah. And uh, it's just, I tell you what, it's, it's a labour of love. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, but I tell you, it's so much fun. You must be pretty proud of the result. It's pretty schmick, I must say. It looks great, don't you think? It it. You know, it's hard to know. Like, you, you do it, you, you put all your heart and soul into it, all your technique, you put it together the best you can, and you just you just hope that it's good enough. But it's good to, good to hear from it. And music, of course, speaks for itself, but in this day and age, it really is helpful to have that online presence and that visual presence in a work as well, and I reckon you nailed it. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that, yeah. Still rocking that podcast with that radio chick, Cheryl Lee. We've spoken about it so much, we better play it now. My favourite hurricane from 63 Deluxe. If you'd like to have a look at the film clip, look it up on YouTube. Vince and I will be back shortly to continue chatting with 63 Deluxe. <laughs> Blow me down 
down again Smiling high on the breeze You're my star without the pain Cloud my simple brain I'm loving you right down on my Geek situations improving all the time. Mm. It let it led you into being kind of like pushed into this area of entering a blues competition. If it's called it, is it a competition? It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Adelaide Roots and Blues Association Arbor Memphis Blues Challenge. Not like a battle of the bands. This has been around for a long, long time mm. because yeah. the recipients, the ones that win, they get to go to Memphis yeah. and spend some time there. Uh, that's the heart of the blues. Memphis is the mecca of the blues. E.B. King C. Blues Club. You guys bloody well won. That was a bit of a surprise, to be honest. It is because you're not like, you, you guys aren't John Lee Hooker. You're, you're, you're modern. Yeah, I mean, we, we, you know, everyone has their own influences. And, you know, you can hear a lot of blues in, in Scotty's guitar. Oh, playing, yeah. And more and more in his singing. I, I've always liked blues and rock. And, and Jack's got his own influences as well. So it, it's just really been a matter of, the, the first lot of songs that we did on the album were mostly written by Scotty. You know, we put a little bit of our own feel and groove to it, but basically the songs, the outlines of the songs, most of the songs was written by him. Whereas what happened was when we decided to, to go into the Blues Challenge, we decided, well, is it blues enough? And everyone kept saying, look, you know, blues is a broad church, you know, and we go, okay. So we sat down and we decided that we probably did the to lose it up a bit. Well, lean more that way. You know, it's not a matter of, of sort of pretending to do something that's not natural. It was simply a matter of just leaning more in that direction. I've seen you at one gig to sit down and where I wasn't playing, which is sitting down and watching. You guys are such a blues act. No, seriously, because the three of you together, I, um, well, once again, I don't want to sound like it's this bad thing. So for me, it's a wonderful thing. I felt like I was transported back in time watching a three-piece where, you know, it's open and you can do your own improvisational bits and Jack's drumming, sensational. The rhythm section, mm. oh, we got to praise them. I'm sorry, it's, yeah, but no, it's uh, killing me too. Yeah, yeah. But they were just, they're brilliant. What a beautiful bed to have. Yeah. And it's not just like, mm-hmm. it's, not, it's not a metronome, you know. It's got a groove and it swings and then Jack does all his, you know, Almost yes. mi- a mid-jewel type stuff, you know. It's just, <laughs> there you fantastic. go. Flourishes. Fantastic. I mean, you're doing what you're doing. It is a blues act, man. It's a blues rock act. Well, what we did when we went into the to the blues challenge was was we just kind of, like I say, let ourselves lean further that way and we wrote a couple more songs. By that stage of the game, we kind of transitioned on to all of us starting to write together. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, Scotty, when we started all of this, he, he came up with a whole bunch of songs and said, listen, we've we got to get the ball rolling. Here's a whole lot of work to do. Yep. Once we sort of got that working 
and we started to get onto the blues thing, it was a bit like, well, okay, well, let's just naturally let ourselves express things in, in that direction. And so we, we wrote a couple of more songs that suited that style of thing. We wrote a whole bunch of other songs too that happened, yeah, sure. but we included the blues songs in the, in the set, you know what I mean? You are listening to Still Rocking It, the podcast with Cheryl Lee. One of the studios, our 63 Deluxe boys may record their new EP in is Sun Studios. Here's my first boyfriend, Elvis Presley, who famously also recorded their Polk Salad Annie. Polk Salad Annie. You got your granny. But um, I know that crowd. And they've been going to those Memphis Blues challenges for many, many years. Yeah, yeah. How were you received? Really, was surprisingly. They won it. Can't be surprising. <laughs> I know they won it, but yeah, what the crowd does and what the judges do is two entirely different things. I think it's one of those things that is hard to judge because, again, you, when you're when you're in that moment, you tend to be very insular and you're thinking about what you need to do. Focus. Yeah, and you're so focused, so then. Whether it becomes a, a, a good reaction or a you know a tepid reaction, or whatever, you're not really thinking it. So once you get on stage and you get a particular reaction, it's actually just like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I yeah. oh, see so you got a bit of so yeah. an energy. Yeah, yeah. So you, so you, yeah. So you really just sort of take it in its stride, but also it gives you that that thing. Okay, so maybe what we are doing is kind of cool. Or it kind of is working. It is, mate. Right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you don't really know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until until you get feedback from other people. And so you know. If you play to that crowd at the Semaphore Workers, where, was it the Semaphore Workers? Because that's where it's been traditionally. Competition? The competition. Yeah. Oh, no, it was at Oh, okay. Yep. That was, the, that was, the, yep. that was the, the final one, was it? Yep. Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Can you imagine what it's going to be like when you go to Memphis? Mm, wow. Because those people, they love that earthy roots music. That's not if it's blues or country or country rock or country rock blues or blues, you know, whatever, rock country or whatever. As long as it's got those elements, like, hey, love it. Oh, yeah. it up. Can we talk about Nashville? Sure. You're planning to do another album? Planning on an EP, which oh. is uh, specifically based. So you've done some pre-production for all that sort of stuff? Uh, in the way that uh, we're planning on recording the songs that we'll be playing at Memphis. And you want to record them there? We figured that out by head around. At the end of a week of playing them in, in the clubs, we're probably going to be more primed to go in and record a record. All right, yeah. You're off to um, World Blues Challenge in January. Yep. Yes. And then you're going to record the next album there. Yes. In that absolutely. Episode. Yeah. Oh, oh, in Manful or, or uh, Muscle Shoals or maybe Memphis. While you're oh, in the breeze. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so excited. I'm so bloody jealous. And again, getting back to what I was saying before, these will be the songs that are more bluesy, uh, the blues songs that we've kind of presented yeah. for this competition. And uh, are you thinking, are you going to produce it yourself? Are you thinking of having a producer around, see how we go, see how the uh, donations. Uh, oh, cool. That's right. There's a great fund me page, is there? Oh, yes. Are we allowed to talk about that? Oh, I was going to. So there's a, go for it, man. Promote, promote, promote. Uh, 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 so we have a website going where you can buy a T-shirt off us. You can also donate. So we do have a donations page. It's just 63deluxe.com and uh, go to our donations page. We've got a tiered donation, so we give rewards for that too. So if you donate a certain amount, we'll give you something in return. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Still rocking that podcast with that radio chick, Cheryl Lee. Another one from the first album, Let's Hear Free Man. And Vince and I will be back to chat to the boys straight after this. <laughs> And the rain keeps falling But I don't look away The words are stolen and the crowd keeps falling But I don't hear them today around 
the other way But I fly hard these days The picket line is a much advance At least I see it that way Australian band heading to the World Blues Challenge? Or the only Adelaide band? Only Adelaide band. There'll yes. be two more, one from Sydney, one from Melbourne. Okay, so I think we need to get behind our Adelaide band. So the World Blues Challenge. Get onto the website. 63deluxe.com. And uh, let's get behind them. <laughs> uh, there'll also be Craig Atkins. He's the solo artist. He's won the South Australian. Oh, you yes. as well. Are you guys all going together? Go together, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Not a dead man, kill him. How much time? Have you got to record this? How many tracks? Four. Okay. Ah, uh, you guys. Smash them. Well, the, the plan would be that um, I'd be able to get it done in one day, so in probably an afternoon. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll see how the rest of the boys go. Fair oh, enough. Got a good argy budget. Not, not to bore the audience. You can always uh, mix it once they can yeah. mix it. You can you can be home. This is right. Ma- yeah, so stuff like that can happen. Yeah. A lot of the stuff that we do, well, all of it, it's all produced by Anthony. So the reality is, is that, you know, it, it may be produced over there, but it may end up, you know, coming home with us one way or another and the finishing touches may be done by the man himself. Man, the way you've come together is in an organic, non-structured sort of way. Why stop? Keep the formula going. I'm not sure when you record, well, when you see an opportunity, you'll, you'll see it. The interesting thing to do also could be to, we'll track it there. Normally we play individually when we record it. So the album is all done individually um, and then put together. This will probably, we will probably play all together at the same time. So have you ever considered recording it live? That's what I'm saying. That, yes, yeah. live out. So it'll be tracked, it'll be tracked in the same room together. Yeah. Feel us every time. Yeah. 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 And I was thinking, you know, we've talked about it. If we let them produce it, but we get the stems and then we can look at what he does, look yes. what they do. Yep. Take the best yeah. of both worlds. Absolutely. Of and yet two so, different versions even, you know, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. The Memphis session, that's it. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's really cool. So here's a question for you, Vince. Would you go to Stax? You know, Aretha- I don't know any. I don't so know any. Aretha Franklin, okay? Oh, oh, Stax Records, oh, right? Geez. The Motown of the South. I like that. Right, okay. that already. Or would you go to Sun, you know, Elvis, oh, Wilson Dick? Yeah. yeah. Or would you go to Muscle Shoals, Rolling Stones, Lily Skinner? Oh, dear. Where, where would you go? Dear. Or would you go international to a lot of those studios there? You're making my head explode. That, that's what we've got to think about. Yeah. The hard choices. Yes. Well, you know what? When you're there, it'll work. You'll work it out. 
Well, Elvis was my first boyfriend, so I was, I got your son. Go to son. Yeah. Go to son. <laughs> and you too recorded there, didn't they? I think they did, yeah. They did. Yeah. It'll come to me probably after the interview. Desire. Yeah, they recorded was. Desire there. Yep. In Sun. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be up for that. Do you know everything, yeah. Ben? <laughs> You're full of it. I knew that. Right. Information, I mean. You are listening to Still Rocking It, the podcast with Cheryl Lee. The boys mentioned Wilson Pickett, who actually recorded both at Stax Records in Memphis and Fame Recording in Muscle Shoals. Let's have one from him, Land of a Thousand Dances, and then back to say farewell to our lads after this. One, two, three. One, two, three. We really wish you, you know, the best of luck over there. You're representing us amazingly. We're really, really proud of you. So do get onto the website and help these guys out to make the best blues album ever. But one thing, though, I've noticed, and this is pretty important, is you don't have a tambourine player. Here we go. Well, my wife does fill in every once in a while. I am good, but I'm expensive. Okay. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know. We'll see how we go by the time that yeah. we, uh, we get famous in 20 Get on the GoFundMe page and get me to Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> the tambourine. She does play a mean tambourine. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I believe it. You're doing us proud. I'm really happy because from the first time I heard your stuff, I loved it. And now everybody else is loving it. I'm back to win it, man. <laughs> Feels good. Well, we want to yeah. thank you guys for yeah. the support as well. So, you know, it's it's a, it's a two-way street. We we appreciate your support. Oh, much, oh so. man, it's an absolute pleasure. You deserve all the good things that are coming to you. Well done. Knock them dead. We're really proud of you. The musicians love you. The punters love you. So good luck, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Awesome. See you when you get back. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's two questions you have. Oh, sh- the most important question. Oh, what do you want on the rider? Oh, right. Of course, that's why it's called rider. Okay, guys. I've recorded all that. Just... Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I'll do one. Let us see, too. Okay. So each individual one? All right. Just one question from me. When you're in the car? Yes. What were you listening to on the way down here? On the way down, I was listening to one of our songs. Ah. So I got to learn the words. Oh, and the last thing that wasn't yours? Uh, Matt Schofield. Beautiful. Yep. Uh, I too was listening to the album to work out which songs go where. Yeah. Out, but uh, I was actually listening to King Brown's album. And Jack? Gosh. Um, the last thing I was listening to was uh, Zoo Lewis by Frank Zappa. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. So, yeah, got on a bit of a journey on that one. We are Rider TV, so the obvious question to each of you, you first, Jack. What's on your rider? What do you have to have in your green room that's a non-negotiable? Oh, I'm a very easy man, but if I had to, if I had the choice of anything, it would be Pepsi Max and donuts. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful and hot towels. Are you a policeman, mate. The Memphis <laughs> Pepsi is going to go a long way. Oh well, that's fantastic. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Ref, what's your non-negotiable? Lemon lime bitters. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I'm pretty easy. He's quite sophisticated. Yeah, they're all easy to get along with, aren't yeah. they? You know, first quench you. Okay. Anthony. I'm the singer, so throat lozenges, please. <laughs> Butter menthols. Butter menthols would be beautiful. So no fancy wine, no fancy cheeses. Afterward. Ah, after. Remember to tell them. <laughs> Lot itches. Lemon lime bitters. Doughies. Easy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Yes. Help me to see got three cameras. Yeah, yeah. Because the ending we did before was beautiful. It was. Slight baby. Yeah. Maybe slight yeah. baby. Change. Yeah. I'll just slice it all in. Yeah. He always did draw this in edit. I say you just have to get their permission to do that. Just look down the corner and say, we agree. Uh, we agree. <laughs> that looks great. We're just getting permission to oh. use my favourite hurricane oh, and sunshine oh, and so Everything we've got. Yep. Everything. Hear that? Got that? Everything. All right. Let these boys reverse. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, pleasure. Still rocking that podcast with that radio chick, Cheryl Lee. We mentioned blues legend Wilson Pickett earlier. He appeared in the 1998 film Blues Brothers 2000, performing 6, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. And he was previously mentioned in the 1980 film Blues Brothers. Let's go out with a little bit of fun. Shake your tail feather from the Blues Brothers movie. And we wish our boys Brett, Anthony and Scott all the best shaking their tail feather over there in Memphis representing presenting Australia. Well, I heard about the fella. 
that you've been dancing with. You're with Cheryl Lee, that radio chick. Thank you so much for joining me on the Still Rocking It podcast. Hope to catch you again next time. Get out when you can, support Aussie music, and I'll see you down the front.